not the Royana. The Yahoyana also has that, is referred to by that name. If your family is Turtle Clan Aimuaka, then the Royana is referred to as Aimuaka because that way it's known that he represents the Aimuaka family. If the clan mother, she also is referred to as Aimuaka because she is the re uh, working for the Aimuaka family. Each of these families has a title, and that all 49 of them, and each family has a certain responsibility to the greater whole, and that it's like the Ayahuasca family. That's why in English they'll talk about say, oh, they're a family that we know as the Wampum Keepers. Well, Ayahuasca, and that the family, the responsibility, the Dikuhuata, is that they remove the dust from all the wampums. Always keeping it so that the people will hear it, will see it, will know it, never to forget it. Not to allow the dust to keep accumulating till we no longer see it, we no longer recognize it, we no longer follow it. That's that family's job, to always make everybody aware. That's why every year, every one of the different territories, they would do a recital every year. But every five years, all the five territories would have to come together and hear that same recital so that they would always all know this the same way. And that, so you have the 49 families in this, this is why it's called Ujokan Haksta, that it will bind the 49 families. But there's one title in there doesn't have a family like the other 49. It's the longest string in there. And that's the title known as Adodah. Yeah. And Adodah doesn't have a clan mother. Doesn't have a family that's gonna tell him what he, what he has to do. What Ayahuasca does, is that's why it's uh, Adodah, is that that's the title that binds all the 49 families together. You Adodah. That's what it means, we're all connected to it. That's what keeps us united as, as a circle. That the need cannot be a break in the circle and that you want to know Tawa. We are all locked our arms together, we're holding each other's arms. That we would always hold up this general as they go. That it could never fall and hit the ground. If it ever hits the ground, it means it's dead. But if it leaves, it's always a chance to keep it alive, but it's our responsibility to keep it alive. And that, and Abedah doesn't have the say over the Confederacy. He does not rule the Confederacy. His only job is to call the Grand Councils. And then when the Grand Council happens, he's to open that Grand Council. And then he's to sit and watch. And to make sure all the procedure and protocol is followed. And that the, the council stays on an issue, but he doesn't have any say in the issue. He only makes sure that they don't go off track. And, that, and, and they say on one side of him, he has a seagull wing. And that seagull wing, and that he's always to keep the fire clean and that the dust away so that procedure and protocol is always followed. And if for some reason there's interruptions within that council, then they say on the other side he has a stick to cast out crawling creatures. That if anybody is trying to manipulate the council, anybody who's doing contrary and so on and so forth, he has the power to remove them. That's all. And, that, and so he has that stick to cast away crawling creatures. And then once Rodianesu have reached a conclusion in the councils and so on, it is his job to say to the people and ask the people, he gives basically a, like a synopsis or else a full explanation of how Rodianesu reached the decision. He says, you have witnessed, you have watched, you have heard how it's been deliberated. You know what the issue is and so on and so forth. And this is the conclusion that the Anesu have come to. 
He said, then that's when he says, Ne toga ni jowa ni go hroto. Is it the mind of you, the people, that this is what you accept? Which simply tells you that the power is still the people. Yeah. Not with the annexion, but you, the people, are the power. And if you do not agree with it, you have the right to say you don't agree with it. But you got to remember, if you don't agree, then you must explain why you don't agree. You cannot just say, well, I don't agree. You have to explain why. If you feel that they've gone contrary to the Constitution, if you feel that they have overlooked something which was very important in this whole decision-making process, then you have the right to bring that out. And, uh, and like I say, I said earlier, there's one, but they know such And uh, And this is basically what Adotaku is doing. He is seeing to it that the house is run in the way it's supposed to. And that, but that's the power, that's the responsibility he has. It's not a power, it's a responsibility. And each of the Rodianets, he's not the final word. His job is to represent his family. His job is to represent all the families. It doesn't matter if you, you're part of Ainwaka. Well, you have to look out also for Shoshkuharo or Oreko or any of the other titles. You have to help to keep an eye and help those other families as well. But it's not only Royaner's job. Yakoyaner, when she's appointed, her job is not to rule her family, not to rule the clan, not to make the decisions for the clan. Her job is to follow the instructions of the family, the clan, to watch over that Royana, to make sure that when he's in council, that he is following the wish and the will of the people in accordance with the Constitution. That's both of them. They have a job. That's what Rutiyana means. There's footprints. And they have to follow in those same footprints as those before them. And that, that's what it means, Rutiyana. They have they have a path, they have footprints that they do have to follow. They cannot create a direction of their own. They have to go by what the family has decided. And, uh, and the thing is that the family has to take responsibility. They can't just appoint two people and say, all right, go and do our work for us. No, they appoint them to look out for you. But you yourself still have the responsibility of keeping your eye on that Royana and keeping your eye on that Yagoyaner to make sure they're doing according as it was prescribed by the family. So the family has to take responsibility. But you, all of you from the other families, you have to also keep an eye on them. Because there's checks and balances in our way. If a family, if a clan mother, is, if a Royana is doing wrong, and the clan mother doesn't correct them, then it's the family's job to correct her. If the family doesn't correct her, then it's all the other 49 families that have to correct that family. And if they don't abide and work and do their part to keep that circle strong, that family could lose that title and it'll be given to a sister family. And a, a, new, a new family will take that responsibility within the Confederacy. That's how serious this whole thing is. But the thing is, it all goes back to taking responsibility. The same thing with Cayotawano, the Peach Stone Gate, it's for you to understand you have to take responsibility. It's the same thing for your children. We can't keep thinking like an Englishman, a white man, saying, this is my daughter and this is my son. We treat our children as though they're our property. Our children are not our property. Our children are our responsibility. In our language, we don't refer to our children as property. We refer to them as our responsibility. And that because we brought them into this world, and it's our responsibility to make sure that we can bring them to a point and that where as there come a time in their lives when they will start to make their own choices. And that, so that's our responsibility. 
to see to it that this is how we do things. No different than a bear, how she brings those cubs and that she raises them. She shows them how to survive and so on. And when they're able to survive, she knows. Then she cuts them loose. All kinds of animals, in the, in the, uh, birds and bees and whatever, they all do this. When one can take care, hold its own, then they're left to start taking responsibility as well. To what's the? Sometimes these English words I forget what they. Progenerate, 